Welcome back to the show. On our show today, we have sports podcaster Brett Willis. We're just breaking down the NHL playoffs coming up, talking a little bit about Raptors, Blue Jays, the NFL draft, the World Cup coming. So we're all over the place. We had our predictions. So let's go to the Leafs and Tampa. So first of all, uh, give me a prediction and then we'll and then we'll break it down. Uh, Leafs in six. Leafs in six. Okay, I'll go Leafs in seven. You can never bet against the Leafs. So I'll go Leafs in seven. Um, what do you think is going to – what's going to take it for you for the Leafs to win this series? What do the Leafs have to do? You know, I think the biggest thing is that they need to stay healthy. They need to get all their guys back before the playoffs. And I'm glad that they're resting who they're resting uh, before the playoffs start because it, it, after 82 games, you know that somebody's hurt and uh, – they're going to have a long summer afterwards. Uh, I really am extremely encouraged that Matthew scored 60 goals this year. It's the first time uh, since uh, Stammer scored 60. Uh, uh, it's the first time the Leafs have had a 50 goal scorer since I believe Rick Vive, which is yeah. slightly mm -hmm. before my time. Um, I remember, I remember Vive. I remember Vive. I remember that those days. It's yeah. the, it, it, Matthew scored 100 points, which is the first time, I believe, since Andrew Chuck in the early 90s. Yeah, him and Dougie, yeah. Him and Dougie, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, and then they've got a great start a cast around around Austin Matthews. The, Mitch Marner's got 97 points. They, they've they got guys who have – have uh, they've exceeded expectations uh, individually. Uh, the, the addition of Mark Giordano is probably the – best pickup out of anybody that's that made the playoffs this year that's a good analogy i would say the giordano pickup would probably be the best pickup the Leafs have done since like dave anderchuk like really like you know and that just name it just popped into my head because dave anderchuk was so awesome for us but seriously he's just solidified the back end timothy lilligren the guy looks like the next bobby Orr. not really but he's like really benefited from giordano on his side there um my take on the playoffs is I will say, I mean, obviously being a Leaf fan, you never go against your team, but you got to beat the champ, like two-time champ. And I tell you, this is my take. Jack has to play above average, doesn't have to steal the series, but he has to play above average, really steady, but 34 needs to lead the series. He has to be the best player in this series. He has to carry us because you know who's going to carry the other team on the other side. You know it's going to be Stamkos. You know Stamkos is going to be showing up for this playoff series. He shows up all the time. We need Austin Matthews to lead this series. And he's capable of doing it. He needs – it's time for him to take charge. And Mitch has to be – he has to be noticed. Like, Mitch cannot go silent in these playoffs again, you know. They, they can't do the same thing they've done for five years. they got to show up. I'm really encouraged uh, with this idea that they they didn't re-sign Hyman and they replaced him with Michael Bunting. I think Michael Bunting is far and away ten times better th than Hyman is. I think he's a, a lot more physical. I think that uh, his passer rating, or at least his passing in general, is a, is a lot better. He's really managed to, to to make Austin Matthews look a lot better than he than uh, Hyman actually ever did. The, the guy likes to go into the corners, which is great because yeah. you you really don't want a guy like Matthews in the corners. Um, I, I'm just I, I I'm excited with all four lines. I, I think that they've got the role players finally that that they needed. I, I know that they've been swapping out Spezza. With Simmons and which is fine, which is fine. Keep yeah, them fresh. Keep absolutely. them fresh. When you got guys that are in their late thirties, you need that that uh, dynamic where you can actually just swap guys in and out of the lineup uh, without any hesitation, and they've managed to do that. I love. I, I we got a lot of great pieces. Like I love Mikheyev and Engel on the third line with with Camp. I think our third line is super. If Kasi comes back, which he was skating in practice, he said he'll be back probably maybe, maybe. well, he's not playing tonight, but he'll be back next week with Bunting. So 
I think if we put Kashi in there, put Bunting back on the first line, obviously, with his two teammates, put Mikheyev with uh, either probably Tavares and Nylander. I mean, we got a lot of good pieces, and, and we can we can substitute our back end. We got Justin Hall who can step in. Sandine's coming back. Uh, so I think – and I like our backup goalie. I like uh, I like um, the the what is he? The Swedish guy or Finnish guy? Yeah, Shogren. I think he's pretty good. Yeah, Shogren is really impressed. He, yep. uh, he, he and he was really brought into a really sticky situation with Morazic being as uh, broken as he is. And you yeah, know what? that was I, unfortunate. I, I said during the off season that I was excited that they were giving him an opportunity, but I didn't think it was going to last. And here we are. Uh, relying yeah. on a backup goalie that has very little experience. And uh, I, I really hope we don't get a, our need to throw him into the fire. Well, this has been great, Brett. Really helped, uh, thankful for you coming on and breaking down your, your thoughts on the playoffs and the Blue Jays and the Raptors. And if people want to find out more information, Brett, do you have any handles that people can go to on social media or anything like that? I do have some handles on social media. Okay. Uh, on Instagram. I am Bretsky1984. Okay. And, um, and on Twitter, I believe I'm the same. Bretsky1984 on Twitter. So, great. Well, yeah, follow follow Brett. He's got a lot of great insight on sports. And Brett's going to be actually becoming a regular on our channel as he's big in a podcast world. And he's going to be given as an analyst for the playoffs, whether that's the Leafs or the Blue Jays, you're going to see Brett doing a lot more stuff for us during the summer months. I do want to thank Casey and Dave. They run the show for us. I just stepped in today as they were uh, had previous assignments. This is really exciting. If people want to find out more about the channel or the show or be a guest, uh, just go to our website, www.thedisabilitychannel.ca. What we're going to do is we're going to take a quick break, and I'm going to come back and wrap the show with some updates, some announcements, some opportunities. So stay tuned. Brett, I want to thank you for being on the show today. And uh, we'll be in touch. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Stay tuned. We'll be right back to wrap the show.